Now from here, I'm going to just scoop my hands underneath her neck. And this will allow me to begin to apply the oil onto the back of her neck. So applying the oil topically is really beneficial for allowing those molecules to be absorbed through the skin into the bloodstream and move through the whole body. And sometimes if your partner has skin sensitivities, you might wanna use a carrier oil or use something to dilute the essential oil that you're working with. And oftentimes, nine times out of 10, when I apply the oil to my hands first, spread it around, rubbing, rubbing my hands together and then let them breathe the oil, you know, some of the intensity of that oil starts to dissipate and then applying the oil directly to the back of the neck um, usually seems to be okay. I don't really have a lot of reactions from people when I apply the oil in the way that I'm demonstrating to you. So, uh, you know, be mindful. You can check in with your partner before you use essential oils on them. And if you use them in the way that I'm demonstrating, you shouldn't have any adverse reactions. So once I've applied the oil onto the back of the neck, there's still gonna be some residual oil on my hand, but again, it's starting to dissipate. So you can also gently apply oil across the front of the throat. Now bearing in mind that this is a very tender and delicate area, so we don't wanna use a lot of pressure here. This is really just enough to start smoothing the oil across the front of the throat where you, know, you can feel some of that drainage down the throat. Then I also like to come across the top of the chest or the top of the lungs. So this is another area where congestion can linger in the chest and in the lungs. If your partner's dealing with that deep cough, it's sensitive, then the skin at the front of the throat. So again, this is just helping to mitigate any skin sensitivities or reactions to the essential oil itself. And after applying to the back of the neck, I can just gently glide my hands across the front of the throat to apply that oil there and help support the release of any congestion. And then coming into the top of the chest and gently walking my hands right to left really applying the pressure through the palm of my hand and allowing the oil to spread across the top of the chest and penetrate into the lungs. So again, when you are using therapeutic grade essential oils, just breathing in those oils can have a really profound effect. So you or your partner may already, you'll feel like some very specific points. And when you apply that pressure there, you'll feel a sensation that lets you know like, oh yeah, okay, that's where my sinuses are. You can feel it there. And that can also give you a, a gauge of how much pressure you wanna use. And then after a little hold, glide the fingertips out all the way out to the hairline. And we'll repeat that one more time. I like to work in cycles of three or cycles of five, depending on the amount of time that I have or the intensity of the congestion or pressure that we're working with. And just repeating that cycle. Now from here, we will move up to the second sinus point, which is in a little bit of a tender, delicate area. So we wanna be real careful. Again, it could be helpful to practice on yourself a time or two before you start working on a partner. And if you are working on a partner or practicing with someone right away, just be sure to check in with them, get their feedback, and you know, make sure that you're in the right placement, you're using the right amount of pressure. So this second pressure point we're going to work is just inside the eye nodes that I'm working towards are here 
in the armpit. So I'm actually helping to move this lymphatic fluid away from the lymph nodes in the neck, which could be like overworked or overcrowded, like too many trains in the station, if you will. So we wanna move some of that traffic down to these, uh, you know, more distant lymph nodes so that the lymph can be cleansed and any toxins, any bacteria or infections can be cleansed out of the body. So this is just a really nice gentle technique that can feel really relaxing and can be really, really I'm gonna have you close your eyes for me and then just tell me where you feel me touching okay, on your face, okay? Left cheek, right cheek, forehead, chin. Okay, cranial nerve five is intact. I'm gonna have you smile for me. Close your eyes, sorry. Just tell me where you hear going. Left, right. Okay, cranial nerve eight is intact. Next, I'm gonna be assessing your lymph nodes. I'm gonna start with the pre auricular. Pre auricular. Post auricular. Occipital, tonsillar, tonsillar, submandibule, submental, anterior cervical, posterior cervical, supraclavicular. Okay, next I'm going to be assessing um, your AP transverse diameter ratio. Okay, no edema, no tenderness present in all four extremities. Um, I'm going to go ahead and check your capillary refill. Let's see your fingers. Okay, and you guys see Okay, capillary refill is less than three seconds and two plus. All right, sir, I'm gonna have you stand up for-, for Checking for any calluses. And then again, I'm gonna have, a, have a, a look for scars if I haven't seen them before. And then I'm gonna go on to feel. 
So to start with, I'm feeling for temperature across the joints. And I'll have a feel of the foot pulses also. I'm then going to squeeze the MTPs to see if there's any tenderness or pain and watch the patient's face. Is that comfortable or That's is that fine. sore? And there? That's a bit sore. That's a bit tender, okay. And again, I might bimanually palpate any of the joints that I think may be swollen or sore to try and identify the cause. Then I'm going to have a little feel of the midfoot up to the ankle joint and round into the subtalar joint. Is that okay? And then I'm going to come on and do some... Okay, I'm just going to do some of those movements myself. So I'm moving the big toe up and down. I'm just going to compare sides. And this one's a lot more painful and a lot stiffer. I'm just going to move the midfoot and just rotate the midfoot to see what the tarsal joints are like. The mid tarsal area is a bit more restricted again on the left. Then I'm going to move the subtalar joint and compare sides. And then the ankle joint itself and down. So don't forget to uh, look at the patient's shoes. There's clawing of some of the toes on the right and the scars indicative of corrective surgery on the left. There are calluses above and below the MTP joints. So there's tenderness squeezing across the MTP joints, particularly on the left. There's loss of range of movement in the ankle joints and particularly the left great toe. Just invite your partner to take some deep breaths. And especially with this peppermint oil is pretty strong and powerful stuff. So you can hold your hands, you know, a comfortable distance away from their face. And they're still going to be breathing in the therapeutic vapors of these oils. And taking some long, slow, deep breaths will automatically help to calm and soothe the nervous system. And that slow, steady breath will draw the vapors of these essential oils deeper and deeper into the lungs and help to open up those clogged passageways through the sinuses, through the nose, and even down into the throat.